little Bobby breaks his arm, you take him to the hospital, it means doctors are now going to look at more than just little Bobby's arm. The doctor may even look at Bobby's medical records, all to make sure little Bobby is not a victim of long-term physical abuse. Over a hundred kids a month are injured or abused. One every month is admitted to hospital and or dies. Those are alarming numbers and that's why Connecticut is changing what doctors do to stop child abuse. DCF and the state's medical community have worked tremendously hard to adopt what we believe are the most stringent guidelines in the nation. This is in response to the death of three-year-old Athena Angeles. Doctors had suspected she'd been abused, but the one who treated her head wound last year at Willimantic Hospital didn't know that and he sent her home. Just hours later, police say her mother's boyfriend beat her to death. This tragedy led to a great deal of searching for answers, and one of the most important results of that search is the resolve to work together to improve child safety. That search for answers brought together doctors from across the state in a committee to try to figure out how best to identify and prevent child abuse. And they came up with a plan that involves two very basic steps. Look at every child very thoroughly, and if there's any suspicion, examine that child's medical history. Check children who present with traumatic injury under the age of six and do an examination. That means disrobing them, putting them in gowns, and examining them. They will also examine their own medical records. And if need be, the state can look at all medical records. It means retraining doctors to do that in all cases, but it also means educating parents that this is the new procedure and they're not singling anyone out for suspicion of abusing their kids. It's not something specific to you. We're just asking the questions. And that's the big difference here. No matter the race or socioeconomic status, every kid is going to go through the same thorough exam, although the doctor points out the real victory will be if no kids are coming in with injuries due to abuse. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce. Keith, back to you.